Hey everyone, Chris, the Thrift Shop Hustler. I think I found a bug in the multi-user account access program that eBay has. And I'll leave a time description, a timestamp in the description if you just want to get to that quick fix if you're having this particular issue. Uh, real quick, the multi-user account access is basically... Um, you can give access to an employee or a volunteer uh, access to your account so they can list or ship uh, without them having access to all your personal information, which could actually cause damage to your account if you have a bad actor or an employee, a disgruntled employee. So it's actually really cool uh, that eBay actually has this multi-user account access or the MAUU program. And I've seen there's been some iterations over the last year uh, with this. They've allowed more access, but I think I actually discovered a bug with this particular program. So I was testing this out for our charity eBay page. And so uh, I tied it to my personal account. And by the way, that whole system is a little broken, I think. And I think um, at some point I'll do a whole video on the multi-user account access, like how to do it. And because the thing is, it's a little cumbersome. It might be for a new seller or a new employee because they have to, there's a couple things that I think are, are a little broken with the program. As far as like the first thing is the, the, your employee or your volunteer actually have to have an eBay account for, to use this program. You can't just give them a unique password and a login. They actually have to create uh, an eBay account or have an existing one. Also, they have to tie their phone to this particular thing with two-factor authentication. And for those that don't know what two-factor authentication is, it's basically where you get a text message with a code. So it's like a secondary login. Um, you know, you put in your password and then your phone will get a text message and then you put in another code. It's like, that's why it's called two-factor uh, authentication. And so you have to set all that up uh, just to even get started. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do a whole video on this at some point. And I think it'll be it'll be good for everyone. But anyways, I, I discovered a bug uh, within the system because once I removed access to my personal account, I could not no longer relist, sell similar, edit in in um, in bunches. And this is the error that I was getting, which is very strange. It said uh, this seller has has not given you adequate privileges to perform this action on their account. Please contact the seller. So it's still acting like. I was trying to uh, sell something on our charity account when I was actually trying to sell something on my personal account. And I think that is the problem is uh, having to link, you know, both things together. And once I removed privileges uh, from my account and the charity account, I was getting this error. So that's why I feel it's a bug because it's acting like it's still uh, trying to pull information from the other account, which has been totally deleted and everything. So, um, this is also uh, the, the charity shop. This is what it looks like on their end. As you can see, Chris Avalos test. I have to give him a personal email that's tied to account. As you can see, the status is removed and the actions uh, will show you different actions. You can remove the account and everything. So um, that's how I think it's a bug in the system because you shouldn't be getting this error um, right here showing, you know, you don't have adequate permissions to do this, um, which is very strange. But I called eBay and uh, the lady was very nice and I was on the phone for about 15 minutes and they were suggesting to go to the charity account and remove uh, my access to my personal account. And they said that that should work, but that's not, that's not, that's doesn't work because I've did that before. Um, you know, I had common sense enough to know like, oh, maybe that's the error is I, I, sh I should remove myself from that list. And as you can see, I did that. And so, um, I think eBay doesn't have the right information for anyone for this particular bug. Now, I don't know if it was an isolated incidence with just my account because, you know, maybe it was tied to a charity account. I don't know. But if anyone ever has this problem, the quick, simple fix is just to clear your cache and clear your cookies and re-sign, log out or, you know, X out of your your browser software and then and then basically open your software again. Uh, with your cookies and your cache cleared and it totally it totally works so uh, what happened was the bug is where either i don't know if it was the cache or a cookie that was left and for those who don't know it's like a, a cookie is basically like a little um kind of like a little sub program a, a little sub file that you know the internet browsers use to kind of you know make a to retrieve information faster it stores your logins and all that kind of stuff uh, it does a lot of different things uh, but it was still showing that I was still 
um, attached to the charity account, which I wasn't, you know, I was removed from there cause I was testing it out and it was still giving me that error. So, uh, bottom line, if you get that error and this is what it looks like, and there's a similar error when you try to relist, but this is a, the error that I got when I did sell similar. If you get this error uh, to just clear out your cookies, clear out your cache, um, close out your browser and then restart everything. You'll have to log back into eBay with your account and your um, password and everything. Uh, I did turn off two factor authentication because that actually stays on uh, once you turn that on. And, and that's a whole other video in itself, how to, how to do that. Uh, but anyways, I'm Chris, the thrift shop hustler. I hope this video helped you out. Um, if you have any questions about multi multi user access, uh, let me know. Cause I've, <laughs> I've really kind of dug super, super deep into this in the last couple of weeks. So we're excited to, to use this program. And like I said, uh, I think it needs, I think it needs a little bit of an overhaul as far as ease of use for the, for the employee or the volunteer. But I think eBay's still on the right track with even just providing this service. I think it's a wonderful service. Anyways, I'm Chris, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time. Take care.